Okay, what we have here is the Rock Hard 4x4 bumper tire carrier. Thing is an absolute beast. It's uh, about five, six years old, somewhere in there. You can see I have their uh, jerry can mount. Very, very stout piece of hardware. Quarter inch steel. Outstanding durability. I mean, my Jeep has come down on this on boulders and your fillings might come out, but nothing, nothing at all is gonna go wrong with this bumper. However, um, I don't know, somewhere about a year ago, I noticed that this, this pin, this is the safety pin right here that, that latches the tire carrier. So, so all the weight of the spare tire and so forth doesn't, doesn't come swinging out and uh, crush you or smash into a tree. So there's, there's a spring inside here with a pin that holds it in place that goes through a shaft. And the idea is uh, there's spring tension on the pin. And as soon as the pin lines up with the hole in the bumper, the pin fires right down in and locks it. So. So mine broke or the pin that keeps tension on the spring broke. So I kind of drilled it out and used the cotter pin and tried to make a, a makeshift repair. And it worked for about a year, but uh, just for the heck of it, I, I emailed Rock Hard 4x4 and I was more than willing to pay for this piece. And they said, Rick, send me your address. And three or four days later, I had the brand new entire pin to replace and put in here. So kudos to Rock Hard 4x4. We're gonna change this out and uh, make it really safe. So that's what's going on on Recon 1 today. Okay, this is the pin assembly that Rock Hard 4x4 sent me. And you can see that'll, that'll go through there like so. Uh, my intentions would be to keep the, the bottom nut in there and undo this top nut and pull the pin out and install this new one. And if you look carefully at this, you can see that little pin right there. So. That little uh, rolled pin goes through that shaft and what it does is it keeps the tension on the spring so that the spring doesn't slide all the way on the shaft and what happens is is the other one wore out so I put a nail in there or a cotter pin or something to try to keep tension on the spring but eventually that got weak again so so this is the new piece going to uh, install this into the rear bumper and I think this is going to work just just terrific. Okay, so what you can see here is see how this spring is completely sliding back and forth. The pin broke. I put something in there and it already it already worked. The spring already worked itself past whatever I installed in that tiny hole right there. So so now we got a nice brand new one from Rock Hard 4x4. Uh, it came with the bottom nut. Again, I'm gonna leave the bottom nut threaded right in there. Okay, you can see it there. And we'll drop this new pin in and uh, thread the top, put a little anti-seize on that and thread it right in there. We should be good to go. Also, I should mention that uh, Rock Hard 4x4 also gives you a nice grease fitting here so you can grease. There's two bearings in here on this shaft one at the top, one on the bottom, and you can you can grease that. Uh, just an outstanding bumper and an outstanding company. No questions asked, sent me the replacement part. Okay, the uh, Rock Hard 4x4 rear bumper tire carrier. Look at that thing. Great bumper. And there's the pin I just changed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swing around to the to the safety latch and open it and uh, try to film just how good that pin works now. So, so just lift this up, slide it out. Now right over there, you can see the pin. Boom, you hear it lock right in. Incredible, incredible spring tension on that thing. As soon as it, as soon as that pin comes over the, ho the hole, bam, slams that thing right down and locks it in. So once again, kudos, rock hard four by four. Holding the 37 inch tire, no problem. High lift jack mounts underneath it. You can see the uh, wiring from my license plate relocation bracket from my 
for my running lights for the license plate, as well as third brake light. There's the pin, easily replaced, working great. Gives you three, three points. You got your, you got your uh, two inch hitch receiver. I run that, I run that piece right there to give me a shackle in the center, uh, wiring for a trailer, uh, shackle on each side, quarter inch steel. My memory serves me right. I think it weighs maybe about 130 pounds. Looks nice with the metal cloak fender flare system. You can see that line dovetails in nicely and lines up really well. Rock hard 4x4 jerry can mount. Wavian official NATO jerry can. Very nice. Got my fuel in there. I use a Cobra lock. Keep it locked up. The reason I do that is I have a siphon I carry with me and I can just drop that siphon in there and just Put the fuel i can put five gallons of fuel right into my gas tank in under two minutes carry that siphon with me so so there we go good good product okay in this case what I did is I used the uh, 15 millimeter wrench on the inside, 13 here. I basically took this bolt out and then just loosened the bottom one so I could pivot the caliper down, very gently squeeze the piston all the way in with my large channel locks. And then I was able to take the clips, put brand new clips in on both sides, use the uh, high temp lubricant, slide it back up and uh, tighten these back up and these these you do not go killer tight i i think maybe i i just did it hand, hand tight snug but hand tight but i don't think it's any more than like 20 or 18 or 20 foot pounds and then the rubber guides right here i took these off on the top and the bottom gooped them all up really good and then just put the, the rubber pieces back on this is the uh, passenger rear side 